we had discussed earlier on our show um, the legitimacy of the world record to begin with. And you're right, the IWF's own report brings into question the fact that they ratified that world record to begin with. As you mentioned, the, the hurricane and the other events, the triple jump that went earlier, the events that followed immediately after. How could that be the only race there where there was no wind? It was a windy day. It was a yeah. windy day at altitude because you know what you know the funny thing how that year was such a, a memorable year for me for the right and wrong season because you remember that was gilbert's year right so that the trials took place just before gilbert the olympics took place while most of jamaica were in darkness was in darkness and i remember there's a place just across the road from where i live right now called how is um that was the only place in jamaica that had, had power watched the 100 meter finals there for women and the, the ben johnson final of course the 979 with his mm -hmm. hand in the air and Nobody questions whether or not this woman peaking for the Olympics manages to run 1062, which is much slower than the time that she ran at the US trials. And nobody figured out hey, something must be wrong here. I mean, your Tony, you mentioned the, the, the report. I remember reading the report leading up to the Olympics because I knew the discussion would come up because you know, based on what you saw, you you you, you didn't expect Elaine to probably do what she did because Shelly was the person who had the the lead in 1063 and of course looking you know winning the national championships and e looking except for us on this show we were the, yeah. Well, we yeah. were the only one yeah. Yeah. i'm speaking generally, <laughs> speaking generally here because yeah. there were some signs that you saw earlier when Ilian ran in hungary when she ran that 1071 and shelly ran 1082 where you saw that Ilian was running into the kind of form where you expected 106 at the olympic games um but as i said before you know the john public don't necessarily pay attention to those right. details this um so you know you know so in the public's mind shelly with 1063 was the favorite the heavy favorite and sure. yeah and she was she was she would have been closer because she made she made a, she made a mistake well she made a couple of mistakes in that final in in in, in tokyo but one of them was glaring because it also happened in hungary that mm -hmm. third step where she looked like she jabs her foot down into the track. That was something that I picked up from Hungary that we came back and saw the Olympic finals as well. And that, that cost her a few fractions. And then at the end of the race, when she realized that, of course, she had to separate herself from Elaine because that's the only way she's going to beat Elaine. Because as I had said previously, when if, if you cannot get five yards on Elaine by 60, you're going to lose. And, you know, when you consider, for example, the fact that Shelly has run 20 sub 10, 8, 22 times now, I think. And three of those races, she's lost. All right. three races, she lost to Elaine. To Elaine, yeah. Right? So you have to look at the fact that we all knew that this was going to be, it was going to be incredible. The only disappointment for me personally, who was not in that final, was the American Jabba Mouth, um, who, <laughs> who, Shakar Richardson, had she been there? <laughs> I thought it would have been an incredible race because I think Elaine would have probably run through the line and then probably run 10 fives. Um, yeah. But, um, you know, to go back to the original point, you know, the, the, that world record of 10 power 49 should be scraped, taken from the books and burnt because it's not, it cannot be legitimate. And there are other issues that I won't go get into because, you know, I don't want to be too controversial. <laughs> but when you consider that, I remember. A US athlete, I won't call his name right now. He was in the National Stadium <clears throat> back in 1988 when we were having our trials. And I remember talking to him after the Olympics, and he said the only thing that Ben Johnson did wrong was get caught mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the 88 final. And of course, history has borne him to be tru truthful mm -hmm. because the only mm -hmm. person who hasn't he tested was positive Kate. was yeah. Calvin Smith, right? Yeah. Everybody else has filled that test since then. I think I think this silver probably escapes, I think, because I think his situation was kind of funny. But the reality is that. I don't know if you're old enough, Tony, and I don't want to tell people your age, but the, the, <laughs> if you remember in 1987, in 1987, Flo Jo was working in a bank in mm -hmm. the United States. Mm -hmm. She was thinking about quitting track and field because other than the bronze medal that she won in 84, she had done nothing. Right. So for her to, like she was training, like say, you know, Usain was struggling with injuries back in, because I know people like to draw that comparison. Mm -hmm. um, Usain was making progress so in 19 in, in 2007 he ran 19.91 and then of course with the extra work that they had been putting in from year from the year two years before actually you know he came through in 2008 and then broke the world record because you saw anybody who saw you seeing at 
16, 17, running the times that he was running, knew that as long as he, so as soon as he fixed his things and got stronger, he was going to do some remarkable things. And it, 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 it's right. borne out when he went to Glenn Mills. But f for Florence Griffith, who was working in the bank and doing both our business, you remember Tony and that when Shelly got pregnant and had a baby, it took her two years to get to back to where she was before. And right. she was running 10 sevens consistently. Flojo had never run anywhere close, close to 10 right. seven. For her to come back in less than a year, nine months in fact, after she quit that job at the bank and started to train with her husband, Al Joyner, who said that she trained like a man. Like what? Women train like women now? No, I mean, right. really? And right. then run 10, 49, 10, 54 when they did 10, 62. And, and, right. nobody, and nobody thought that to be strange. And then it makes it worse. You quit right after winning three gold medals and a silver at the Olympic Games. The right. weighty box, all of that endorsement money goes what? What? It, it didn't matter anymore. You're being right. broke. You yeah. virtually broke the year before and then walk away the year after. Oh, right. Yeah. It, re it reminds me of, of the men's final in the in Tokyo. Yeah. Walked away, yet to compete. Yep. Only time you make mention of. Um, Putting on your specs is a novelty race with balls. With balls, yeah. So you see, <laughs> people need to ask themselves these questions and stop looking blindly at things and not mm -hmm. understanding what what goes on. So the Americans can always say, "Boy, you know, she's the legitimate world record holder." In the minds of who? Right. Right. No, you, you know? make a good point because even eighty-seven when she wins that medal in in Rome, right? Like that's yep. that's shocking. If you're you know you yeah. you're making up that point working. And also before i just want to say i think you may have been kind of changing my mind a little bit on on elaine so that's that's good on you particularly <laughs> too in in the context of how i view shelly and fraser price as still the greatest 100 meter athlete of all time and just to be going up to be head to head to do that too is even more spectacular so yeah yeah, yeah man shelly right. is shelly still is the greatest yeah. of all time